guys uh, so every time I film my video for you guys you keep asking me to do a makeup tutorial on the makeup that I wear because you keep on asking I'm gonna do it today I'm um, I just took off my makeup and I'm gonna reapply it because I'm going for a, you know for a catch-up with a friend so I had it since the morning so I wanna freshen up and I'm gonna apply the exact same makeup that I wear every day so my face is moisturized it's a little bit like irritated and can be slightly red because of the cleansers and stuff and it's getting dark as well because it's like seven o'clock so hopefully the lighting will be fine so for my base i'm using a mixture of my gosh bb cream and lumen triple stay makeup um a dollop of each um running whoa okay that's way too much Okay, today I'm not gonna use my Lumen Triple Stay makeup, but it's basically a tinted moisturizer. It's one or two shades darker than Gosh one, and uh, I've been mixing the two to achieve a good color because I have a slight tan, but you know what, I'm just gonna use the Gosh one today. Actually, it seems like it's a bit too light. Okay, I'm gonna apply a tiny amount of the Lumen one on top of that. I love these two because they look so natural. They blend into the skin and look like nothing, which you know, I apply them kind of like a like a moisturizer. So now I have the gosh one on, and you can see it just evens out your skin. It doesn't look like you have makeup at all. It just looks like your skin is slightly more even. Um, this one is a bit darker, so just a tiny amount through the center of my face that one and uh, my skin I you know I don't really have any problems with it at the moment no spots and stuff so I don't really need coverage you know I don't wanna cover anything or like I want my skin to show I just want it to be even pretty much and you know kind of one one shade um, okay that's my base done for my under eyes I've been using my body shop concealer which has kind of a moisture bar in the middle it's a slightly pinky concealer so it really just counteracts any darkness that you have under your eyes and it just brightens the under eye area and I've been really really enjoying it it's great it doesn't crease too much maybe slightly but nothing major on the, the rest of my face I use my MAC Studio Finish NC15 concealer so just around my nose it's very thin but very pigmented so it covers anything any pigmentation is just the best concealer ever but you know i don't feel like i need any more concealing and make sure to blend everything into the neck because you don't want to have the two <laughs> different colors um then I move on to my eyebrows, just brush them in place, usually use my MAC um, eyebrow pencil in fling but um, recently I kind of got back to, you know, just to show it some love, my Art Deco eyebrow pencil in number 6, it's a um, very good ashy color and uh, I just use it super gently just to define my brows 
I don't overdraw them, but I just kind of make them look, you know, more even, fuller, kind of more defined. I know, I know guys, my brows are so much darker, but this is my natural brow color. Um, I'm dyeing my hair. And uh, I'm not gonna dye my brows just to match my hair. I feel like if I would dye my brows, my, my face would be washed out and my features would disappear because my brows kind of are pretty thick for my face and they kind of do make a statement. So I like them darker. And um, I'm using my Gosh Clear Brow Setting Gel just to keep them in place. I really like this because it doesn't make my brows all crispy and gross. Sorry, boyfriend. Okay, brows are done. Moving on to the eyes. I'm so simple with my makeup. Um, as you guys know, I've been using my Dr. Hoshka eyeshadow in number three, which is such a beautiful color. It's, um, I don't know, it's just a um, pinky, like pink champagne color. Rose, can you call it rose color? And I just take a fluffy Eco Tools, not fluffy, but big Eco Tools brush and apply it generously all over my eyelid. And I just been loving this look because it's not too shimmery, yet it gives very subtle um, glow to your eyes. You know, it's not shine, but just glow. I love so much all over my eyes. Sometimes I leave it just like this with this eyeshadow on only. Uh, it really, really brightens my eyes and the whole face and just makes me look very fresh, radiant, and awake. But I love this combination. So I take another Eco Tools brush and um, take my matte Max Veg eyeshadow and. Uh, I just apply this in the crease. You know, I have hooded eyes, so I don't really have a, a crease. But um, I'm just drawing where my crease would be to darken this area and make it look, you know, um, like I do have a crease. This is a false crease. <laughs> Then I take this fluffy blending brush and blend the shadow like that. So it's all very, very well blended, very soft and um, pale colors and very natural ones. Then I curl my lashes and my Chanel curlers. And apply any mascara of my choice. Um, today I'm gonna apply this Le Volume de Chanel, um, which I have a sample of. This is a brilliant mascara. Okay, so that's my eyes done. I don't do anything more with my eyes. Then I take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which is very well loved. This is um, Sephora Mineral Powder Brush, which I just love so much. And I, I just lightly buff in the powder into my T-zone, where I get uh, most of the shine. So, you know, my forehead, nose. Lately, I've been using my NARS Laguna bronzer with a big body shop brush. Just take the bronzer like this, tap it onto the back of my hand, and then literally just apply it like this onto my face. Take the most of it onto the hand and kind of just go like that around the face
Then taking the powder brush again, blend the bronzer so you don't see any harsh lines, you don't see where bronzer begins or ends and it just, you have to soften the edges because you don't want to see like you have a bunch of bronzer on. It's pretty pigmented and I usually try not to apply too much. Um, But it just gives some color and definition to my face, which I like. And then I apply any of my chubby sticks, because I just go for these neutral, nudie um, lip products. This is Carvia's Caramel Chubby Stick Intense. Um, beautiful color. It's... um rosy kind of nude and uh, people say it looks it is identical to Tom Ford's pink dusk so I don't know I don't have the Tom Ford lips they cannot compare and the lighting has changed uh, drastically but hopefully you can see all of the colors I'm gonna zoom in um, so this is my everyday makeup look, literally. This is what I do quickly in the morning and rush out the door. Um, yeah, just a very natural looking eye again. All of the colors are so neutral and um, it just gives you that polished look. Yeah, The mascara is amazing, I really like it. Um, I'm trying to find an angle to show the makeup properly so yeah you know if you want some extra um, color you can add a blusher and a highlighter and just kind of add to the makeup look if you feel like but to me this is um, all I need I don't want any more makeup this is enough for me and um, yeah hopefully this was helpful for you guys Definitely try it out um, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.